So it is the outdoor pastor out here on them trails again, baby. Don't call it a comeback. I, I, whoa, I just walked up spiderweb. I've been here for years. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been out on the trails. Taking my scouts backpacking in a couple of weeks and haven't hiked this trail that I'm gonna ooh, take them on. That felt soft. Uh, so just gonna get it in. It's about eight miles. Let's see what happens. Yeah, uh, Mouse Landing uh, Eagle Point Trail. Please stay on the trail. Let's get it. So there's a was a storm out here a couple of years ago. And so there's some workarounds, whatever debris happened. I think it was a tornado. And so you have to keep your head up while you're out here hiking and look for the blue blazes. Uh, because if you try to follow the trail, you'll end up not getting to a place where you can't get through or you find yourself off the trail. Just need to keep following the blue blazes, even if the trail looks like it's going another way. This is more damage that the tornado did and why they have to reroute. So again, keep your head up, look for the blue blazes. Okay, I'm a little worried. I'm on some blue blazes. It's killing me out here. But then I see some blue blazes down there. So I'm gonna stay on this. Maybe they'll connect um, if I get too far down and don't come to the loop. I'm gonna turn my butt around and take it back to the house and try this again. It looks like that's, maybe it is where it connects. Maybe it just turns. I don't know, we'll figure it out. So I finally made it to where the loop starts. Shelter two is that way. Shelter one is this way. We're gonna be staying at shelter two, but I'm gonna go this way because this is where we're gonna hike in. Real quickly, it's about 1.9 miles, close to two miles into the hike. Uh, and it's for the most part, all up and down. It's not a steep up, not a steep down, not extremely long up or long down, uh, but you're just not gonna find a whole lot of level, level spots on that first little part anyway. Secondly, some of the places are kind of treacherous, so watch if it's a small or thin trail. Uh, that you can slide off of very easily. If you're prone to ankle rolls, uh, place your feet very carefully because about a mile of that 1.92 miles is on the side of a, a hill. So your ankles are constantly slanted. About 0.3 miles ago, I said there's nothing real steep or long. I'd like to retract my statement. <laughs> Very quickly after that, there's a pretty steep, pretty constant ascent. If you head toward uh, the shelter number one, it looks like I might be getting to the top up here, but it's, it's uphill and got me breathing <laughs> a little heavy. <laughs> Close to three miles in, made it to shelter one. Gonna check it out real quickly. Oh man, picnic table, door, <laughs> screen, lizard. <laughs> Pretty new looking. I wonder if they contemplated building a fire in here or a stove. Trash can, one, two, three four or five spots for 10 people. And this is, I hope shelter two is this nice. About, I don't know if you can see, about 3.75 miles in, you can finally see the water off to your right. If you headed towards shelter one. It's approximately 4.17 miles in. It's gonna be hard to figure out which way to go. You're gonna go down a ravine, come up, there's gonna be a tree, should be a tree. It's down, big long tree. Hug that tree and you'll see some blue markers, blue blazes. It took me about 10 minutes to find them. So 
I made it to shelter two. I had my gear app going, gay a guy or whatever, and it just shut off. I don't know, maybe it's something in my pocket, something like how long I've been hiking or how far I've been hiking. Yay! But anyway, I'm here. <laughs>